um, audience comments, um, as always, you your name and address. Uh, hold your uh, comments for three minutes. And uh, I thank you in advance for the courtesy you're going to show one another. So we'll commence. <coughs> Microphone line up here. Does anybody know? It's working. It's hooked into the system. Okay. I'm Everdeal, Gates Township, and I'd like to uh, talk about one of these ordinances. I believe it's number nine on your agenda. And it is a public record, by the way. Um, I guess I'll, I'll start out just reading. Uh, what's in the first part of it. It's the Gaines Township uh, ordinance to prohibit disturbances at lawful meetings or gatherings and to uh, prescribe penalties for violations thereof. And it shall, shall be unlawful for any person to make or excite any disturbance or contention in any tavern, grocery store, manufacturing establishment, or any other business place or, or on any street, lane, alley, highway, public building, grounds or park, or at any election or other public meetings where citizens are peacefully and lawfully assembled. And a person violating this ordinance shall be guilty of a misdemeanor punishable by a fine of $500 and or imprisonment in the county jail for 90 minutes. First of all, there are already state laws that prohibit exciting any kind of disturbance in public areas. So why do we need another law for little rural Gaines Township? So it appears that our officials think that we need this kind of enforcement in, in active upon its citizens. <coughs> Are we having riots on the country roads, the parks and the grocery stores and at public meetings? If I'm not mistaken, I just read an M Live article that cited Gaines Township as the safest community in the state. So why do we need this? I'll tell you the real purpose I think your public officials want to enact such an ordinance. Yes, there are citizens that disagree with you, and I'm one of them, and we're going to continue to have disagreement. However, like it or not, that that is a citizen's right. And just because you don't like it does not give you the right to exert this communist socialist policy of on our community that is unconstitutional and infringes upon our First and Second Amendment rights. I have never caused a disturbance in, this, in any of these public meetings or anywhere else in the community for that matter. I'm a peaceful and law-abiding citizen. But when I read the words that someone wrote where it says, it is unlawful to excite any disturbance or contention, well, my first thought was that it's not clearly defined. So basically, contention, the word contention is a disagreement. So it sounds like we could be arrested for disagreeing with issues and policies at public meetings. But I guess that you have to excite others so let me get this straight. I disagree, okay, no problem. I disagree and others join in, so now I've excited others, so I get slapped with a fine, 90 days in jail, and a misdemeanor. And I suppose the Oakwood residents who just came up here for a public hearing and disagreed over their assessment taxes <coughs> and excited others around them are guilty as well. I am renaming this document as the shut-up law, being used as a tool to suppress free speech. Can I have 30 more seconds to yeah. just finish my thought? Thank you for what? Going as fast as I can. So let your records reflect that I'm exercising my First Amendment rights to say that I disagree with this ordinance for the reasons stated. And I would like to know who wrote the ordinance, and if I don't get an answer from the supervisor, I would like someone else sitting up there to please speak up, speak up. Finally, if this ordinance is proposed tonight, which I see it's on your agenda, and if it is passed, uh, I am officially on record asking for your resignation as you are violating your oath of office and don't deserve to be our leaders. 